think of structures in SAP ABAP as a thali. Yes, a thali of data management. Just like a thali in Indian context uh, offers a variety of dishes in one plate, structures allows you to bundle diverse data elements into a single container. It's like having a data feast in one package, making your SAP application as satisfying as a delicious Indian meal. Now imagine each compartment of your thali represents a different data element. In SAP ABAP, we use structures to organize and store data, right? These structures allow us to group related data elements together, making our code efficient and elegant, much like the way we arrange dishes on a thali to create a balanced and a satisfying meal. Now, now I'll show you how to create a structures in SAP ABAP data dictionary. So first of all, you have to go to tcode SE 11 and have to click on data type and thereafter you have to provide a structured name. Previously, uh, in the previous video, I have showed you how to create a database tables. And uh, as you know, like when we create any object, may it be a report or anything, we use a custom namespace starting with Y or Z. So in order to create a structure, we'll be using a customer namespace only. So we'll give our structure name Z test demo. And we'll click on the create button. Okay, it seems that it already exists. So let us write ZDIC struct. Click on the create button. So this structure is is a kind of a data type. Okay. So that's in the data type, we have three options. One is a data element, one is a structure, another is a table type. So we'll be choosing structure as of now. Click on the tick button. Yes, now the screen gets opened up. So as you know, a structure is a kind of a skeleton, which uh, is important. Like whenever you are running up your program, but you structure does not hold data physically unlike in case of a table it holds data physically but a structure only gives you a skeleton okay that will help you to organize the data and to um, when it is very much important when you are using a structure for any runtime computation and you need it in a case of a reports we'll cover that as well so let's see how to create a structure so here we have to give any description employee structure the, uh, the first column is component in component we have to define the field names the field names that you that the structure will contain suppose by id employee name by department by designation okay second column is the type so here we can choose types third column is the component type here we have to specify the data type so we can select built-in types here we can specify employee id is suppose character its length might be 10 employee name is also kind character department character and we can give some length as well click on enter we can give short description employee id employee name employee department designation now once it is completed click on save button 
a pop-up will appear here we will be selecting local package basically the local object since we have to capture it in a tr we won't be capturing a tr on any package we are selecting local object over here so it is residing in the server only then we'll have to click on here we have to go to extra and there is an enhancement category over there so enhancement category signifying like the type of field with which you wanted to enhance your structure at later point of time so it can be enhanced deep like any kind of field can be added or it can be enhanced character or numeric other than character and numeric none other field can be added okay it means a data type the field that you are adding what would be the data type it it would only be a character or numeric if you wanted to add some other data type it will not be allowing you like in case you are selecting can be enhanced character like and you are adding a field with numeric over here if the system would not allow okay and if you select cannot be enhanced so you cannot enhance you cannot add any field okay so it's better select can be enhanced deep like any kind of a field can be added click on copy click on activate button it would get activated this is as simple as that now friends you might have noticed like we have directly defined those fields like employee id employee name designation and a department and we have not specified any primary keys over here unlike in the previous video friends who have not seen my previous video of how to create a database table i would uh, request you to go and check that if you have not uh, seen that video there in the table creation we have defined a primary key there's a concept of primary key in table there's a concept of uh, technical uh, settings okay and also there uh, have concept of primary and secondary index as well okay but here as you can see in structure there is nothing such so a structure can not store data physically it can hold data only at a runtime structures does not have any primary keys structures does not have any technical attributes and maintenance attributes structures does not have primary and secondary indexes guys in an interview this question is generally asked like what are the difference between a table and a structure so just make your concept clear over here but a structure is very very important when you are dealing with run times like when you are creating any kind of a report whether it is a alv or a classical report when you are creating a smart forms or a function module or anything okay whenever you need a skeleton you don't want it to store the data but you want it to take a reference of any kind of a structure then you have to create it physically once again like structure can be created physically like if you are creating a structure in ddic it is accessible everywhere okay it is consistent as i have already told in my previous video in data dictionary like whatever objects that you create in ddics it is globally accessible everywhere okay in that server but if you are creating the same structure locally in a report it is local to that particular report only yes guys we can create structures in report as well there we cannot access that local structure from any other programs or reports because it is local local to that program but this is a global structure which zddic structure it is a global let me uh, tell you like uh, let us create let us uh, go to this table mara and execute here you can see it is it does have technical settings okay it has concept of primary keys you can see keys options are over there okay but in case of uh, it stores data physically so if we click on this execute button we can check number of entries like this number of entries are over there let us go back and go to our structure which we have created neither there is an execute button because structure does not contains any data there is no primary keys there is no technical settings so this is it guys hope you have understood what i meant to say if you like this channel do 
लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब थैंक यू